the concept of debenture is one who is holding the debenture that person will get the interest even though you have transferred as per bond washing system you are only supposed to pay tax a warm welcome to one and all this is your adar sir here lecturing with your strong first grade college the temple of excellence now we are discussing session 7 unit 3 of tax management 2 and in that we are discussing the unit called income from other source in today's session we are discussing a separate topic that is called bond washing system what do you mean by bond washing system why do we do all these sections and why do we go with bond washing system what are the advantages in that each and everything we will discuss in today's class so later we'll go to this definition before that i'll go with small example please concentrate in this example you will understand bond washing system perfectly now just assume that mr x and mr y just assume that there are two persons are there one is x and one is y so it is nothing but x is u x is u y is your closest friend he is not your family member he or she he is not your family member he or she is not your spouse your dad your mom brother no one but he or she is your closest friend now in this your salary both completed your studies and both joined to some work now so your salary is around 8 lakh per annum so what is your salary 8 lakh per annum what is your friend salary so bad luck he did not study well he got 1 lakh salary per annum per year i am not talking about per month i am talking about per year so listen to me carefully whatever example i am giving now that much only your bond washing system no need to learn definitions and all just remember this example now what is your salary per annum per annum is per year what is your salary 8 lakh what is your friend salary it is 1 lakh now again this is your salary this is his salary now you have invested in some shares or debentures you have invested in some shares or debenture from that debenture you got interest of 1 lakh 50000 so there is a interest on debenture or interest on uh, from share you will get dividend from debentures you will get interest so assume that this is the debenture so how much you will get from the debenture 1 lakh 50000 every year you will get interest now so he has not invested anything so it will be zero his income is 1 lakh your income is 9 lakh 50000 so what is your per year income your income is 9 lakh 50 your closest friend income is only 1 lakh now you are supposed to pay huge tax your friend has to pay tax no why because what is the basic limit as you know that up to 2 lakh 50000 no tax up to rupees 2 lakh 50000 no tax because there is a basic slab up to 2 lakh 50 no tax in this your from 9 lakh 50 if you minus 2 lakh 50 you are supposed to pay tax on 7 lakh from 1 lakh he is not pay he is not need to pay any tax here you are clear up to this yes now in this this interest you will get this interest you will get march 30th every year march 30th you will get 1 lakh 50000 when do you get every year march 30th you will get this interest now so 
you want to avoid tax because you are paying huge tax. Now, what happens? March 1st. So you are very brilliant, you have studied well. So what you will do? You want to avoid tax. What you will do? March 1st. March 1st. When do you get interest? March 31st. That's why 30 days before itself, you will sell this debenture to your friend. Whatever debenture you have, if you wait for another 30 days, you will get 1,50,000 interest. What you will do? You will sell this debenture to your closest friend. What happens? He will buy this at free of cost because your friend, you will, you tell him that you keep this debenture, you give me later. You keep this debenture, you give me later. So happily accepted, he got 1,50,000 in the month of March 30. So instead of you, instead of you, he got 1,50,000. Why? Because you have transferred your debenture to your friend. The concept of debenture is one who is holding the debenture, that person will get the interest. Even though if you sell it on March 29th also, at the time of due date, at the time of March 30th, who is holding the debenture, that person will get interest. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, now you have transferred this debenture to your friend and that person is holding now. So interest will go to whom? Your friend only. Now tell me, what is the income? His income is only 8 lakh. His income is 2 lakh 50 thousand. He is supposed to pay tax? No. Why? Because up to 2 lakh 50 nil. He is supposed to pay tax very less. Earlier it was 9 lakh 50. Now he has to pay tax only on 8 lakh. Hope you are clear. Yes. The logic is very simple. He is very close to him. He will collect this 1,50,000 and give it back to X. Clear? Instead of me, you collect and give it to me. Clear? Instead of me, you collect and give it to me. Off. Not on. Off. From the back side behind. Now, after March 31st, April comes. This is what? New financial year. Again, he will take it back. This debentures. At the time of due date, give it to him. Because for him, no tax up to 2,50,000. After March 31st, again, take it back from him. Clear? Give and take it back. Give and take it back. He is very close to you. He will not say anything. Happily, he will accept. Later, whatever interest you will get, he will give it to him. He has not supposed to pay tax. For him also no tax. Why? Because up to 2,50,000. Yeah. There is a logic, there is an idea to avoid tax. Clear? See, he saved tax on 1,50,000. These are the tax avoidance. You cannot transfer to your wife, your dad, your mom. Why? Because clubbing of income. You have to pay tax on that. That's why you called your friend. He is an outsider so that you can save the tax. Hope you are clear. All this logic you understood. Now, what do you mean by bond washing? Why I am telling all this means government says that we know that to avoid tax you are doing all this. Government says I know that to avoid tax, you are doing all this logic. So, government made a new rule. Government made a new rule. After due date, if you take it back, what is the procedure? On March 30th, he will give it. In the April, he will take it back. Any transaction happened like this, giving and taking back. In this case, X only should pay tax on 1,50,000. Hope you are clear. Even though it is in the name of Y, after one month, this person will take it back. No? For this kind of transaction, government says that even though for one month he is having, you are only supposed to pay tax. 
you are only supposed to pay tax so these are rule government made so that to avoid these kind of people clear this rule this system we call it as bond washing transaction hope you are clear very good so this is all about bond washing transaction normally people to avoid tax they will transfer to few people they have less amount so that to avoid tax later they will take it back so that to avoid tax i'll give you simple example like you have gone to airport you have gone to airport what is the maximum limit just assume that you are in the normal econom economic class max to max you can carry 30 kilo baggage how much you can carry max to max 30 in the baggage in the flight you can carry 7 kg total you can carry 37 kg how much luggage you can carry max to max you can carry 37 kg in the economy class it differs according to the flight or the where you are going now so maximum 37 kg you can carry but one of your friend he is going for some meeting so how much luggage he is having he is having only 10 kg how much he is having 10 kg now what you will do you will buy 70 kg in this 70 kilo 30 kilo you will transfer to this fellow because he is having less after going to such particular country you will take it back luggage from him so what is the use you have avoided extra baggage charges clear what is the limit 37 but how much you have luggage 70 kilo almost 33 kilo extra this 33 kilo what you will do you will transfer to this fellow so just assume that you are going to uk after reaching uk from him you collect it back 33 kilo baggage so that you avoided 33 kilo extra charges these are called as your tax avoidance to control this the government had some rule that is called bond washing system clear this is just an example but actual case is this one this happens there is a reason bond washing system we have hope you are clear as yes, good so this much only your bond washing just i'll read out the concept link between this link with this example you will be clear with this concept now remember the government income tax act 1961 bond washing transaction are the transaction in security which leads to shift income see shifting income now one may think that the provision of shifting may lead to provision of clubbing but what about transfer in case of transfer made to friend x and y friend the clubbing provision do not apply normally what happens if you transfer to your wife if you transfer to your son if you transfer to your daughter again you are only supposed to pay tax because you are the earning person that's why you will transfer to outsider your friend then clubbing will not come to avoid tax but for such cases for such cases section 94 of income tax act comes into picture what is bond washing section 94 now section 94 aims at preventing avoidance of tax by the assessee where there is transfer of security before the due date as i told you due date is march 30th by but i transferred march 1st itself now payment of interest and reacquisition april again i'll take it back now such transfer avoids tax as shift the burden of tax to some other person if you do like this the tax will be reduced but as per section 94 this is what as per section 94 
the income of security transfer shall be deemed to be that transferer even though even though x transfer to y as per bond washing system x only has to pay because he is taking back he is taking back now for example mr ram holds 12% debenture of 1 crore of company a company a provides interest half yearly say 30th june and 31st december normally they are given 30th june and 31st december now on 28th june when the interest is credited 30th june 30th june normally you will get interest what i'll do to avoid interest 28th two days before two days prior mr ram sell the said debenture of rupee 1 crore to his friend he what he will do he will transfer to somebody else mr sham and reacquire those debenture on july 28th only he will sell it off after collecting interest again he will purchase so that to avoid tax now now interest of rupees 6 lakh received by mr sham shall not be taxable in the hands of sham however section 94 shall not apply and the said interest shall not be taxable in the hands of sham it is nothing but even though you have transferred as per bond washing system you are only supposed to pay tax that is the only logic you are supposed to learn now so same thing example it is given you can read out same whatever example i have given same thing now so same explanation for this so all the explanation you are supposed to write in your exam for 5 marks so this is all about your bond washing system hope you understood just remember this example that is more than sufficient for your bond washing now so what is bond washing so before due date if you transfer your debenture to somebody or your friend to avoid tax still later you will take it back to your own still you are only supposed to pay tax why because we have section 94 what is section 94 bond washing system so this we call it as deemed to be acquired deemed to be having so this is all about your bond washing system now so please take screenshot at the end i'll give you one homework yes this is your bond washing system explanation explanation part 2 with example continuation of your bond washing system example explanation continuation yes the homework is very simple now you are supposed to write in the comment box now so just in two lines just in two lines you have to explain me what is bond washing system what is the homework homework is very simple don't take much time don't go with the provisions nothing just in two lines in your own words you have to explain me what is bond washing system don't google nothing i need in your own words we'll see uh, whose answer will be the best answer i'll post it in the uh, chat box itself whose answer is the best one so please answer me what is a bond washing system just in two lines thank you